Hello, everybody, and how are we all doing this week? Um, so welcome back. Welcome back to uh, Creative Writing Converge Online. Um, so this is going to be the third one now in my vlog series. I hope you've uh, managed to check out the first two in the series. If you haven't, then please do. They are on the Creative Writing uh Converge YouTube channel and they are also a link to them in the, the blog that we'll be running each week. So this week's topic is editing. So you should have had a post already from the lovely Amy um, about this so please check that out if you haven't already and we've also got one from William last week on dialogue so please go and have a little read of those and see what you think. Um, there's some great material and they're both beautifully written. Um, and this vlog will be a little compliment to Amy's one this week on editing. So I'm just going to talk to you a bit about sort of the editing process itself and sort of my sort of experience with editing as well. So um, when people hear it and they think, oh, some people will just sort of freeze think editing. You know, I've I've wrote that story already. You know, I've, I've done that poem. I've changed a couple of bits here and there. I'm happy with it. You know, what what else do I need to sort of edit um, the process? Um, so one sort of thing that I like to kind of use as an overview really is... That initial first draft, or that initial first time you sit down to write, whether it be a poem, non-fiction, a short story, um, a novel, um, that is you, that first draft is you telling the story to yourself. Um, the editing process is then you telling that story to the reader. Um, so often when you start writing something, you might have sort of a general idea of it in your head. You might think, I want this to go this way, but there's a lot of bits that still need working out. So that kind of writing process is you sort of finding those little bits out really so you might have an idea of the sort of the characters that are going to appear you might have fleshed out a lot of the plot you might not even kind of know the ending sort of but stuff changes and evolves when during that first draft um and that's great that's sort of what we want really you know that's the beauty of writing when you sit down you know you're in control you know you can change sort of whatever you want as you go um so the editing process, so what I kind of want to focus on first is sort of um, not trying to get too caught up um, in editing sort of specific sentences or words early on. So after you've done that first draft, you kind of want to let it sit for a bit. Ideally, let it sit for as long as possible. Um, if you can let it sit for a few weeks, brilliant. A couple of months, even better, but a couple of months is very hard to do. So, you know, a few days also is just more than fine. So you really kind of want to let it sit for a bit and then what I like to kind of do um, is print out a hard copy um, there's something about just having a hard copy which I've got a hard copy here as well to show you all Ta -da. Um, in your hand there's something about having that um, and then it's also kind of handy as you get to the later bits in the editing to mark bits off and highlight and that and you can sort of also by hand as well because a lot of you may be writing by hand it's just a great way to sort of just change little bits here and there and it's all sort of there and concrete in front of you um, as opposed to it being on the screen but a screen is also fine if you haven't got access to printing facilities there's no right or wrong way to do this um, so what I kind of like to do is print out a hard copy and then read it all through from start to finish but don't stop yourself on each little bit just make sort of overall notes on the character and the plot um whether there's anything in the plot which you thought might not have made sense to you or what is working as well you know it's important to point out the bits which you feel like are working and are good from it but what are the main general overall bits that aren't working and then once you've done that i then like to read it through again and start making some more detailed notes um, and this is the bit where you want to kind of really challenge yourself and ask you the question you know is this piece is this paragraph is this chapter section adding anything to the overall narrative or the plot or the theme in the poem or it could be a character you know are we giving the reader anything um in this little bit and that's where you kind of need to be you know you can just because you're taking something out of that now doesn't mean you can't use it late again or another piece there might be a character you think well this isn't actually suiting for this piece but there's another piece further down the line where you might be able to use them. So then what I kind of like to do is I'll have my printed piece here. And I like to sort of go through... Um, actually, I actually haven't even edited this yet, so this is kind of poor, isn't it? I'm just showing you a blank piece of paper. Well, it's got a bit of writing on, but... Um, so what I kind of like to do is specific sections. So I might get down to this bit here and then think, it's not really saying too much about the narrative. It's not really doing much for me. I would then maybe highlight that or I would draw sort of like a red ring around it. Um, so when I come back to it later on, um, 
I know these are the pieces that I probably need to take out. And it's just really challenge yourself in asking that question, guys. You know, is this adding anything to narrative in the piece? Because when you're telling this back to the reader, there's going to be a lot of sort of information in there that isn't really working, that isn't really key to the narrative in the bit. So kind of the main advice for me is just to not get... Because, I mean, I enjoy most is going through and just sort of breaking down each sentence, taking out little words... Um, here and there, you know, adding a bit more description and that to sort of get the reader excited or get them to help visualise that. But try not to do that when you come to your first editing bit because what will happen is you might spend a lot of time doing that but then decide, actually, I'm just going to get rid of this chapter. I'm just going to get rid of this whole section, toss it away anyway so you don't need it. Um, and then you've spent quite a bit of time already. Oh, I've just got all blown up and... A lovely sun colour. I don't know what's happened there, guys. I do apologise. Uh, I've just totally lost my train of thought. Right, so basically you don't want to spend too much time doing sort of line edits or word edits because you, you want to do those bits sort of later on. That's your kind of your final editing stage. What you really want to go through first is just take out any bits. And you can be quite ruthless and just say, look, this bit, you know, it's not adding anything to the narrative. I might really like it. It's, I don't know, I really enjoyed writing this bit, but just take it out. You can always put it back in. If there's a bit where you think, oh, I really need this bit in here, you know, this is really important, you can put it back in there. But just be ruthless with yourself and take that bit out. Once you've done that initial editing process, and you'll probably find that there probably is quite a lot in there um, that you don't actually need. And then just coming back to the bit about letting it sit as well. So the longer you leave it sit for, the more sort of you'll know when you read it back bits that aren't really adding anything to it. So if you can, you've got a piece that you've been working on for a while, put it aside for a few weeks and maybe just start something else if you're kind of happy with that first initial draft. And then when you come back to it, there's just going to be like, oh, I don't need this anymore, I don't need this anymore. Um, and just really sort of push yourself. And if you can get someone to else to read it for you as well, give any feedback, that is also great. You know, all those that converge here are one big team and that, and everyone is always happy to read anyone's work at any point um so just have a go at that this week then guys um if you can get the hard copy do that that's great if not edit on the screen is also fine um but try not to get too caught down into the little dls it's the big chunks that are going to make the real difference in your writing guys um so that is it from me this week take care guys have a lovely week see ya